The next piece you will hear is one by one of my favorite new composers from Cuba who emigrated to Spain in the late 90s and has made a career and a life uh, there. Uh, his name is Eduardo Morales Caso. I had the great fortune of meeting him in Spain while I was pursuing a Fulbright scholarship uh, in 2008 until 2011. And during that period of time, I came into contact with some of the greatest living Spanish composers across the last four generations. And I had the privilege of meeting Eduardo uh, in 2008. He was one of the first composers I met. And uh, I found him after a spending binge on iTunes, and I found his incredible work, Introduction and Toccata for Flute and Guitar. And I immediately wrote him and uh, vigorously courted him uh, to write me a solo piece called La Fragua de Bucano, um, even though I didn't know that was going to be the title. So he wrote me this powerhouse work, and I just fell in love uh, with his music. And ever since then, I have uh, taken it upon myself to champion his works uh, wherever I go. Um, this piece that he wrote was his second piece called Il Sogno del Streghe, which means is the witch's dream. So there's a history associated with this piece, a story, so to speak. And in this story, we hear a beguiling lullaby at the, began, at the beginning called Nina Nana. Uh, not exactly your typical lullaby. I would watch out for your kids, the witch might be coming for them. <laughs> um, and following that is Toccata di Ugolesca, the Devil's Toccata, which is a toccata, a running piece, followed by uh, The Lonely Soul, and then the very last part of this story is called Strege, in which we hopefully will welcome the witch into the house, um, or ever, wherever you might be. So this is a very captivating piece that uh, I've fallen in love with for its imagination, its uh, colors, and um, deep thought. So I leave you with that.